Well, this has certainly been quite a year already, and we're only about halfway through in the Santa Fe Public Schools. We're also at a pivotal moment in public education and in this community. We've continued to endure a global pandemic, and I hope we've learned to take care of each other because social emotional wellness has never been so important. We're looking at a staffing crisis. The Board of Education passed a resolution and the city and county have declared the same in this community. We know that across the whole system that educators are hurting because there are not enough people and there is a lot more work to do. So I want most of all to say thank you to everyone for being a collective, for acting together, for supporting the people in our Santa Fe Public Schools and each other. We have to do this together. For me, it's been incredibly inspirational to watch how people can come together and create great things, even in such difficult times. And watching the way the creativity has blossomed and there has been kindness and people holding each other, supporting each other, and figuring it out together has been really amazing. So on behalf of myself and the Board of Education, I really do want to issue a giant thanks to the community and especially to the family that is the staff of the Santa Fe Public Schools. We know how hard you're working. We know how many issues you tackle on a daily basis and we truly appreciate it and are doing everything we can to support and create a culture of problem solving and kindness in our Santa Fe Public Schools. I also want to recognize the passing of my fellow board member Lorraine Price and recognize how much she gave not just to the, fa to the Santa Fe Public Schools but to me personally and to the board. I realize that she is a teacher by training so of course that's what she does but as I have moved on without her on the board it has been an incredible experience to know how much she taught me about being a board member. Of course we also welcomed a new board member in in Sasha Anderson and continue to have the great support of Vice President Rudy Garcia, Secretary Sarah Bose, and Dr. Carmen Gonzalez on the board. So thanks to all my board members for their dedication and commitment as well. Of course, we also have a new superintendent and district team this school year, and we're very glad to. And what a time to take up leadership and to learn on the job. We're all doing it because these are unprecedented times. But thanks and congratulations to the superintendent and the district team for all the hard work this year. We all have a lot of new responsibilities. I know to anyone in the public schools that's not new, but even to parents and families supporting students at home, we're adjusting as we go. So thank you again to everybody who's doing that. We've got to keep going. This is a time when we can make or break public education. We have an opportunity to truly reinvent how this works. So let's do that together and let's stay loose, stay flexible and stay kind. Thank you very much to everyone in the Santa Fe Public Schools community. The Santa Fe Public Schools is excited to partner with our community to embrace a new year, new realities and a new vision for the future. Our district continues to strengthen its recognition as a place that values investing in educators and high quality learning. Our goal for the future is to make Santa Fe Public Schools a prime destination for teachers and staff. We are deeply grateful to the Santa Fe voters for supporting the general obligation bond, mail levy, and previously the educational technology note, which makes such a positive impact for all students through renovated buildings, expanded sustainability efforts, and equitable access to technology. Because of this support, our schools quickly responded to the pandemic by ensuring that every student had the needed technology for engaging in high quality instruction, that our buildings provided high air quality, and that other protections were in place to protect students and staff. I'm so proud to represent you and work with the Board of Education to support learning, provide students with bright futures, and in the 21-22 school year, We've introduced the new mid-school math curriculum to overhaul the culture of mathematics and ensure that all students see the mathematician in themselves. We've delved deeper into standards-based instruction to ensure equity in learning for our students. We've developed and are implementing a plan for using federal pandemic relief funds for academic interventions, accelerated learning, safety and school readiness, and retaining our valuable employees. 
We furthered student health through expanded COVID testing for students and staff and held vaccine clinics. We've rolled out new COVID dashboard that provides the public with information and transparency. We've updated our district website. We've supported the state's proposed new social study standards that expand the historic narrative and lens so that the impacts on and perspective of all Americans are included. We develop legislative priorities to improve educator pay and bring retired teachers back into the classrooms. We've launched a joint city and county initiative to address our employees' needs for housing and childcare that's affordable. And there's more. We're in discussion with the New Mexico Early Childhood Education and Care Department on the possibility of Santa Fe Public Schools providing childcare for our staff. Most importantly, we've listened to you, the stakeholders of Santa Fe Public Schools. It's a new year with new realities and a new vision. Let's continue to work together to embrace our educators and learning. As we move forward, we will continue rethinking education so that students can achieve bright futures. We also want to acknowledge the passing of our longtime board member, Ms. Lorraine Price. It's truly a great time to be part of Santa Fe Public Schools, and we thank you for your support. Schools have forever changed due to the pandemic. It uprooted every aspect of schooling at once. It wasn't just moving from classrooms to computers. It made us question basic ideas about instruction, attendance, and staying connected in a virtual platform. Over a year later, the pandemic has poised us to rethink school, to see opportunities that we may not have realized before. We have new ways of engaging students. Instruction is focused on acceleration and staff are collaborating virtually across school sites as they plan. Across the nation, the pandemic also highlighted inequities. Inequities in access, engagement, and grading practices. The Santa Fe Public Schools has made a concerted effort to change how we grade and provide feedback to our students in a meaningful way. We're working with site administrators and staff to begin thinking about how we can change the scale to reflect learning and not behaviors. To look at homework as just practice and not a way to penalize students for not completing it on time. This school year, we continue to focus on accelerating student learning, ensuring that we teach to grade level standards while providing targeted skill instruction for those needing additional support. We continue to provide professional development to all of our schools in this endeavor. We realized, as many other districts across the country, that if we continue to use traditional grading practices, we inadvertently perpetuate the achievement gap. Our work has included a district-wide focus on priority standards, ensuring that students are taught through thoughtful planning, are given authentic feedback, and are provided opportunities to improve their understanding of the content, giving them ownership in their learning. A student may not do well on an assessment on a given day, but it doesn't mean that they don't have the capacity to learn it. As a result of coaching from their teachers, students learn to keep track of their progress. Students understand their role and are responsible for their learning in this student-centered classroom. Equitable grading practices is a shift in mindset. It's seeing learning as a shared responsibility between teacher and student, where there are multiple opportunities to grow in their understanding and to know exactly what skill needs to be improved. The pandemic has also helped us rethink how we're partnering with higher education institutes to assist our students in obtaining either post-secondary degrees or to receive certifications in technical fields. We are proud to say that this fall, the Santa Fe Public Schools established a partnership with Highlands University to increase access while minimizing the cost for students to enroll in a post-secondary institution. The partnership looks to increase enrollment for all students interested in a four-year program, but in particular, those of color and limited income. Students with a 3.0 grade point average at the end of their junior year are automatically eligible for admission. 
Students will receive assistance with tuition, room and board, and work-study opportunities to help them cover living expenses. Our students can graduate debt-free upon completion of their degree through Highlands. This past year, the district's high school graduation rate marked dramatic growth, with graduation rates for SFPS's high schools reaching their highest marks in five years. Since 2016-17, the district's graduation rate has increased 17%, surpassing the state's graduation rate two years in a row. In 2019-20, the SFPS graduation rate reached 86.3% compared to the state's 77%. We expect graduation rates to continue to rise as we continue teaching essential college and career readiness skills, providing a variety of ways for seniors to meet graduation requirements, including alternate demonstrations of competency, and developing individualized plans for each student. The district's goal for secondary education has shifted from preparing graduates to be college or career ready to being college and career ready. We are committed to erasing the lines between high school, college, and career by ensuring college, career, and technical education or CCTE opportunities for all students. Current CCTE offerings prepare students for more than 52 separate industry-recognized certifications. Over 1,500 SFPS students are currently enrolled in CCTE courses, and we are working to increase their reach so that every student can benefit. We will continue to offer and improve our popular proven career pathway programs including the Medical Pathway at Capitol High School and Ortiz Middle School, the Engineering and Culinary Arts Pathways at Santa Fe High School, and the Automotive Pathways at Early College Opportunities High School. And we will support Emerging Pathways in Computer Science at these schools and at Desert Sage Academy, which provides both online and classroom learning. To inform this effort, we will conduct surveys and focus groups with students and parents to determine interest in current and potential CCTE programs, and with employers to determine needed current and future workplace skills and knowledge, as well as future employment growth industries. Working with our local post-secondary partners, Santa Fe Community College, Institute of American Indian Arts, Eastern New Mexico University, and San Juan College, our pathways are aligned to more than 25 certificate and degree programs. At Santa Fe Community College alone, 200 SFPS students earned dual credit in 2020-2021. We are working to increase access to additional pathways and dual credit coursework by providing transportation to and from the college and offering dual credit courses on our high school campuses. With increased community interest in supporting work-based learning, SFPS has begun building out a robust menu of job shadowing, mentorships, and internship opportunities with local business partners and within the district. Our capacity is for 212 students to engage with more than 31 local business partners in work study, job shadowing, mentorships, and internships. In the coming months, SFPS will be adding internship positions across multiple departments, including in technology, student nutrition, and transportation. And we will be creating over 125 positions for student tutors to work with younger students in after-school programs. SFPS and the Santa Fe community are poised and ready to forge new opportunities for all of our students. Though the past year and a half have been quite a challenge, I believe the Santa Fe Public Schools has a great deal to be proud of. Moving forward, we will leverage what we have learned to make an even greater impact on the lives of every student. Thanks to the Santa Fe voters, our district and students have benefited from Education Technology Note since 2014. The ETN has helped us to build and maintain a technology infrastructure that is fast, reliable, and safe. We have been provided with the ability to maintain the technology equipment necessary to support best practice teaching and learning, from classroom projection and interactive whiteboards to student devices, 
to instructional resources. Finally, the ETN provides the pedagogical and technical staff necessary to leverage and support the educational systems and devices we have in place. All of this work has set the stage for some amazing opportunities. The district was ready for remote learning with the device for every student at the start of the pandemic. Open Access and Seesaw, our learning management systems, provide a central online portal for lessons, homework, communication, feedback, and collaboration. Our readiness allowed the Computer Science Initiative, CSR 2025, to thrive as a first-of-its-kind program in New Mexico, providing a transformative learning environment for helping students to learn and apply computer skills. The district has earned several computer science grants to support this vital learning initiative. Santa Fe Public Schools was the driving force behind a groundbreaking study related to student connectivity during the pandemic. Because of this study, the district can now view internet connectivity from a sufficiency perspective as we work to ensure every student has widespread access to learning resources. SFPS recently outfitted every school bus with Wi-Fi, expanding the opportunity for our students to interact with learning resources. In addition, we have partnered with Locket, a company that's committed to delivering equitable access to technology so everyone benefits to ensure every student has access to free basic broadband. It is this type of forward thinking that earned the district the 2020 Community Leadership Award for Digital Equity, presented by the Consortium for School Networking. Technology, innovation, and access to the internet are critical to learning in the Santa Fe Public Schools and make a positive impact. Across our technology and digital learning teams, we are ready and excited to support the new look of education. Thank you for the opportunity. The Equity, Diversity, and Engagement Department oversees a number of initiatives in the district that support both the school and the community. Some examples are Parent Academy, Teacher of the Month, Community and District-wide events, Attendance, and Safety Net support. But today, I want to highlight three major initiatives from our department. These are the diversity and equity efforts, volunteer and tutoring services, and community schools. Our department continues to work hard to ensure equity, diversity, and inclusion across the district. We currently oversee the Superintendent's Diversity and Equity Council, which helps advise our superintendent on district-wide efforts. We also have an additional Executive Equity Council in order to ensure alignment with recommendations made during Yazi Martinez. Over the pandemic year, we provided an equity-based parent survey that concluded with 1,401 responses and provided direction for this school year. This feedback led us to create programs like Constituent Services, Immigrant and Refugee Support, and Interdepartmental Alignment. We will continue to gather input and insight from parents and community members as our post-COVID environments continue to change. Our next highlight is volunteer and tutoring services. We maintain an average volunteer base of 400 parents, grandparents, community members, and retired educators who support programs that help to enrich the lives of our students and bring our community into our school sites. During remote learning, we launched the Help You Homework Hotline and provided over 400 tutoring sessions for our students. Now that we're back in school, we support our quarantine students through an expanded version of this program called Tutoring for Quarantining. This service offers roughly 18 tutoring sessions per week for quarantine students. Also, we recently announced our enhanced partnership with the City of Santa Fe which allows city employees to volunteer up to four hours per month. With this, we anticipate growing our volunteer base and community involvement significantly. Finally, I would like to highlight our community schools initiatives. With the support of the Public Education Department's Community Schools grants, SFPS continues to grow and strengthen the community schools models and partnerships throughout our district. In order to be a community school, a site must actively assess the needs of their school and community and build support around four pillars. One, integrated health and social supports. Two, expanded learning time and opportunities. 
three, strong family and community engagement, and four, collaborative leadership and practice. Under the grant, we currently have two schools in their implementation phase, which are Cesar Chavez Elementary School and Santa Fe High School, and three in the planning phase, which are Kearney Elementary School, Nino Otero Community School, and Milagro Middle School. Also, last March, our Board of Education unanimously approved the community schools resolution signifying their support to grow community schools at SFPS. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak with you today. We are thankful for such strong, supportive parents, partners, community members, and colleagues, which help aid us in the success of our students every single day. For an inclusive list of all that our department does, I encourage you to visit our webpage. The Santa Fe Public Schools Operations Team has long focused on building for our kids' futures. Thanks to the generous passing of the 2021 General Obligation Bond and HB 33 Mill Levy, we will continue this work with diligence. Plans are underway to rebuild our Early College Opportunities Campus, the Santa Fe High School Commons, and Mandela International Magnet School. Keeping students engaged and focused on their futures requires that we provide flexible learning environments capable of adapting to unique programmatic needs of each school. Santa Fe Public Schools is also an established leader in protecting the environment for our future generations. With 4.7 million dedicated to sustainability projects district-wide, our community can expect to see the continued implementation of solar, rain garden, water catchment systems, and much, much more over the next four years. At the same time, we must balance the implementation of large campus improvements and district-wide initiatives with continued attention to student safety, expansion of outdoor learning spaces, and aggressive air quality improvements. With 1.5 million allocated from the 2021 GeoBond to expand outdoor learning environments, we are working on age-appropriate prototypes for installation at select elementary, middle, and high schools. With mill levy maintenance funds, Santa Fe Public Schools was able to rapidly respond to the pandemic conditions and new expectations for keeping our schools safe before reopening our doors last spring. Nearly $5 million in mill levy funds were expended to respond to COVID-19 facility requirements. Going forward, we project the need to invest nearly $1 million annually to meet COVID-safe air requirements, including air filters and other equipment upkeep and replacement. The success of the November election guarantees another six years of maintenance money to fund ongoing COVID-19 facility requirements in addition to routine maintenance. Keeping our buildings safe and clean has never been more important. Equally essential in our district response to COVID are transportation, student nutrition, custodial and maintenance staff have stood up to the many challenges of providing service under ever-changing conditions. Their service and dedication has been critical to keeping our students and staff safe and ensuring smooth day-to-day -day operations in our schools. The Santa Fe Public Schools Operations Team looks forward to continued service to all of our schools and partnering on projects big and small. Thank you, Santa Fe, for supporting our work. Together, we are building for our kids' futures. We're here at Milagro Middle School, one of the greenest schools in the district. Even though the pandemic has asked so much of us and required redirection of so many resources, our district sustainability efforts continue on. We completed our 13th solar array this summer, 143 kW solar PV system at Kearney Elementary, making Kearney 60% powered by the sun. This brings our total generation to 2.3 megawatts and makes SFPS 25% solar powered. With the passage of the General Obligation Bond this November, we committed to adding another 2 million in solar PV to our facilities. This means not only more clean green electricity, but also direct savings to the operational budget, which is 85% employee salaries and benefits. Our cafeteria food waste collection program rebooted with the start of school in August, diverting approximately 4,000 pounds of uneaten food from 21 schools away from the landfill each day turning it into soil in partnership with Reunity Resources. That soil often ends up back in our gardens and landscaping,
turning what was once a landfill methane problem into a beneficial product for our campuses and the community. The Transportation Department and the Sustainability Office partnered to bring the very first all-electric 72-passenger school bus to the state of New Mexico this summer. With funding awarded from the Volkswagen Environmental Mitigation Trust, this EV school bus serves the neighborhoods of El Camino Real, Capital, Ramirez Thomas, and Ortiz. It will not only reduce hazardous emissions in these communities, but will also create a cleaner, quieter ride for the students and drivers. A four-port charging station was installed to power the bus, so SFPS is ready when more funding becomes available. While school site staff are busier than ever this year, we continue to offer curriculum support from our sustainability program specialist, Dr. Ruby Estrada. The pandemic brought a renewed focus on the need for outdoor learning and gathering spaces, and we are busy meeting with principals to determine the best location and design for those outdoor spaces, with at least six shade structures scheduled to be installed early this winter. We recognize that when our students and staff spend more time outdoors, learning in and from the natural environment, the benefits to health, attention, and learning are enormous. Developing a relationship with the natural world fosters a desire to care for and protect it. With most of our facilities closed last year, we were able to further reduce our use of water, electricity, and natural gas. But we are very happy our buildings are once again filled with students and staff, where efforts to conserve whenever we can will always be underway. Santa Fe Public Schools will continue to work towards a more just and sustainable future for everyone. Hello, Santa Fe Public School families, students, and staff. The Safety and Security Department of the Santa Fe Public Schools, under the support and direction of Superintendent Eladio Larry Chavez, is happy to announce the district-wide launch of the Say Something Anonymous Reporting System. Previously, the district had implemented the Say Something Anonymous Reporting System for high school and middle school students. Now, all of our schools are participating in the Say Something Anonymous Reporting System, with students in sixth grade and up being trained on how to use the anonymous reporting. This program teaches students, teachers, and administrators how to recognize the warning signs of individuals who may be at a threat to themselves or others, and how to say something to a trusted adult or use an anonymous reporting system. Specifically, the program educates participants to Recognize the signs of at-risk behavior, especially within social media. Take every sign and signal seriously. Act quickly to help by talking to a trusted adult or reporting concerns anonymously through Say Something Anonymous Reporting System, 24-7 Crisis Center, mobile app, or website. Respond to and manage submitted tips via educator and administrator teams. Sustain the curriculum and awareness via student clubs in school activities and call to action words. Our students are often aware of the problems their peers are facing. It is critical that we teach them to look out for one another as digital conversations are taking place, empower them to know the warning signs and provide them with the tools to help each other with the assistance of a trained and caring adults. While many students are eager to return and reconnect, many continue to experience stress, anxiety, loss, and fatigue that cannot simply be ignored. Youth have experienced increased levels of anxiety and depression largely due to social isolation from their peers. We need to acknowledge the experience and impact of the pandemic, remote learning, and social isolation to help students be ready to learn and school communities to heal. The Say Something Anonymous reporting system, known as SSARS or SARS, teaches students what to look for in text, video, and photos while empowering them to act quickly to help fellow students. SARS, which is age-appropriate and research-based, is being provided through Sandy Hook Promise, a national nonprofit organization with programs in 50 states. It has a track record, reputation, and knowledge of how to work effectively with kids, parents, and teachers to improve school safety and culture. Sandy Hook Promise also has funding to provide and sustain the program at no cost to the district. To date, Sandy Hook Promise Prevention Programs have helped stop multiple school shootings, suicides, and gun threats, reduce bullying and cyberbullying, and intervene with cutting, drug use, racial conflicts, and other violent and victimization acts. We know this program will do the same for our district. Thank you, Santa Fe Public School families, students, and staff. I'm a big fan of analogies, so I'll start with one. 
Schools are like baking. I know that seems a little far-fetched, but just stay with me. Every recipe is different and dependent on the ingredients you add. The same goes for schools. Every school is different, however, at their core, they share a few main ingredients. Flour, the building block of all baked goods, is our teaching and learning. What is a school without teaching and learning? Communication is like the eggs in a recipe. It's the glue that holds it all together. Without eggs, cookies crumble after they're baked, cakes and brownies just fall flat. The same goes with communication. We need strong communication with our families, community, students, and staff. That's why we're improving communication in a variety of ways. This year, we launched new platforms to allow us to better reach our families on everything from a snow day to an event at a school, and better share happenings and news across the district. You've probably seen emails from Peach Jar, our digital flyer system. Gone are the days of crumbled up papers in a student's backpack. Now, the district, schools, and community partners submit flyers that are distributed directly to email inboxes. The move to Peach Jar has been an amazing success that's resulted in more engagement than ever before. Next, we rolled out Remind in November. Remind replaces our robocall system with texts, emails, and an app, completely changing how we communicate with our families, allowing for direct communication with students' teachers. Today, parents and guardians can send a message to their student's teacher asking how their child is doing with division or sharing their appreciation for helping their student understand the periodic table. This level of communication is something that was never widely available in the district. We are so excited to see how parents and teachers are communicating together. Lastly, and maybe most importantly, is the launch of the district's brand new website. This is by far our most exciting development because it meets such a tremendous need across the district. The new website, now live, looks, functions, and navigates better than ever. Starting at the top, there's a completely new menu bar and structure, which makes it easier to find information. The button bar houses some of the most visited areas, making it easier to get where you want to go. The news and live feed areas provide details about the amazing things happening in our schools through short, quick updates about things like the amazing student artwork on display at our main office or weather alerts affecting our schools. The website is not just appealing, it's one of our best communication tools. I invite everyone to check it out at sfps.info. All of this has been done to provide the best communication or brownies possible to you. Not only is this Santa Fe Public Schools new approach to communication, we believe it's our new recipe for success.